All right, so back again. I figured out where I'm living in the interim. Also, I've discovered these bubbies. They're plant-based. Um, they have like non, non-dairy options, but I obviously go for the non-dairy options at Whole Foods and they're really good. And it's just mochi uh, with some oat milk ice cream. And then I'm having the mango one, kind of hard to see. And then there's a chocolate one as well. So yeah, cute little moment here. But yeah, I found a place to live temporarily for the time being between the end of my lease slash walkthrough of this place and the time that I'm going to be moving in and the date that I'm going to move into my new place. So that's exciting. Hello. I've honestly redone this, so we're just going to keep it short, sweet, and concise. So yeah, I'm currently experiencing a lot of pain right now. And my test results are taking a lot longer than expected because doctor's office let me know that the place that they outsource um, results for, they like to wait till everything is complete to present at the end. And it's been a month and I'm not going to know for another two weeks. So I'm just really frustrated because I feel very off. Also, my vertigo is back. Um, I'm getting checked out tomorrow uh, morning for it. But I just want to reiterate, if you feel like something is off or wrong with you, go to the doctor. It's better to be safe than sorry. Um, if you don't trust the first opinion, go with the second opinion or just really advocate and emphasize like, hey, something's wrong. You don't feel good. <sighs> so yeah, I'm experiencing a lot of pain right now. I have been for the past two days. Um, it's been on and off, but like, not excruciating, but like, kind of alarming, and I don't feel good about it. Um, and I just want to feel better. Um, yeah. Yeah. And, um, I mean, I know this is like a moving vlog, but I've also talked a little bit about my health. I'm really hoping that six months down the line, I can look back on this and just be like, oh, we got on a plan and we're good. I really don't want to be in a position where six months down the line, I'm still in the same space. Because honestly, like dealing with health problems, not feeling okay, not feeling like yourself when you know what yourself feels like is extremely frustrating it's really annoying and it's just mentally so exhausting and taxing and um difficult and yeah to know that you don't have answers you don't know what's wrong with you to be in the unknown for such a long period of time is just hard so yeah i'm not having the best time right now but i am hoping that you know I can get some relief um, after I go to the doctor's office tomorrow and like get on some antibiotics because this vertigo is crazy. I truly just can't. I can't handle it. It's been months. It's literally been over three months. And yeah, I'm just like, I, I need something to change. I need something to be resolved. So I just bought this two-pack luggage set from Costco. Um, basically what's going on with moving, I'm moving a little bit, a few days before my lease is up to stay temporarily with some friends. Um, family friends? Yes. <laughs> I'm a friend of this family. <laughs> They're really great people who are letting me stay with them. And during the time that I'm staying with them, I need to be able to, oh, 
Oh, so this is how they packed it. I was wondering. Oh my god. Jeez. So I have like this full size luggage here. Great. I mean, this is a luggage unboxing of Ricardo. I was only planning on getting a um, carry-on because I need a new one because mine is, you know, uh, banged up after several years. And the cost for a carry-on is like 70 to $80 on average. And I went to Marshalls, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Target, um, Ross. They all cost the same around the same amount for a carry-on and then I didn't find any that I was liking um, I found a brand that I like I really like Lucas their suitcases are great um, my last carry-on is a Lucas which is why I like them because they've been super durable I also like Calpac um, as well because it's lasted me a really long time I got that at Marshalls or TJ Maxx like when I was like exiting college and my cow pack is still doing me good which is the handle on my Lucas um, basically like when it was going through customs um, someone had handled my bag in a very rough way and yeah so, but it, I mean, it's gone through natural wear and tear. And then you have the, the smaller one, which is great. Um, but yeah, I'm staying with a family and I'm also gonna be traveling uh, while I'm staying with them. I'll be with them for about a month, essentially. Well, these are really cool, interesting pockets. That's nice. And basically, I want to have luggage that is going to fit my stuff for while I'm there, but also I can like leave stuff kind of organized in the place that I'm staying at um, while I'm traveling for a week. Because the last week that I'm there, last week that I'm there, I'm going to be out of town. So I was like, I'll have one suitcase of just like basically. I just basically want to have like two suitcases because I only have one. Um, and when I was looking at pricing, this is my thought process all over the place. But when I was looking at pricing um, for a carry on, it was like $80 average. Like, I'm not even joking you, it was like $70 to $80, as in $79.99 to $80, like, not $80, $69.99 which was 70 to 79.99. And then I went to Nordstrom Rack and they had some for $120. And I was just like, that's just like, okay, that's great. This is a, this is a really good size. And I, I also like this kind of style of luggage cause it's lightweight. Like they're both really lightweight, but also um, yeah, they really took that out. Um, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just all over the place. I'm so sorry, but yeah, they're they're right here. But for the price of the carry on, it was eighty bucks. And at Costco, they had this like two for one. So you get like a full size luggage and a carry on. And it was 130. And I was like, if I'm basically going to be spending $100 anyway with tax, this just seems like a better bang for my buck. And Costco always sells really good quality. Um, the quality of the other places are really great. But I was just like, for the cost, I wanted to get a carry on that with a color that I liked. And a lot of the places had colors that um, I didn't really 
like there was one I saw by Lucas and it was pink and I just was like I thought about getting it because I was like it's the same brand but it's pink and I really don't want this color um, I'm very much into the neutrals like I'm just into neutral colors when it comes to traveling and I also don't want really light colors because they look worse quicker I am going to finish watching this documentary I've started getting into documentaries lately because of Melanie also Melanie and I like listen to this song <laughs> well she made me listen to this song because I don't normally listen to songs by this artist I just don't it's a song called long live it's by taylor swift i'm not saying that i'm not a fan of taylor swift i'm just saying like i don't really listen to her music i don't actively like she's not on rotation for me nothing against her it's just some people some artists are not your cup of tea when it comes to like their style of music or the stuff that they put out she's also doing really well for herself and has so many fans that support her and love her and you know what wish her all the success and continued success but i just don't like yeah i just don't actively like pursue listening to her music it's yeah that's all i'm gonna say but anyways we listen she li we listened to the song called long live and was listening to the lyrics we both cried and we're laughing because we just like it was comical but also really sad because it's very true of what we're going through right now like we don't it is we've been friends for like over 10 years and we've lived together for such a long time in our adult life and it's really sad and honestly i'm very proud of melanie and i'm very thankful that like we have been friends for a long time we've had some ups and we've had some downs let me tell you we've had some downs um but we've had a lot of ups and we've been able to just overcome a lot and i'm just so grateful and thankful to mel and i love her so much and she's honestly the best um obviously like have told her this in person so but yeah so like we're we're leaving on good terms of not being roommates anymore but she just has really great opportunities that are coming her way and i also have great opportunities that are coming my way and we both knew that this would end soon i at least knew this would probably be our last year living together because i really wanted to try living by myself like after our one year lease was done and our one year lease is done so yeah i need to get on it um but I have a place. Granted, I've filled out the application. I have not signed anything yet. <laughs> and they contacted me, but I was already on a call with someone else at work. So they said that they would contact me again. And I'm kind of just like, I wanna sign my lease. So it's like in writing that I'm I'm actually taking this apartment because um, it would suck if they're like, well, we didn't hear from you. And then we gave it away. And I'm like, no, I, I called and I left a message today, actually. So. And it's in my phone history. Like. I don't want to be homeless. So, yeah, it's just weird. I'm still kind of like. I found a place, I applied to a place, I got approved, um, but I have to find, like, sign, like, the final lease thing, and, I mean, nothing else is really due until moving, and so maybe that's when I'll sign and stuff like that, but same thing with, like, the checklist, too, because, yeah, it's complicated. I'm still kind of, like, nervous and freaking out a little bit about it, too. Did I burn myself on my foot? No, that's just dirt. Anyways, this has been so long, so I'm gonna check in with y'all another time. This is definitely gonna be like 
multiple parts. Like, we're getting a lot of footage out of this because I don't want these videos to be super long, so I'll definitely speed things up <laughs> for sure. I just haven't vlogged in such a long time and I need to edit basically all day tomorrow uh, and have a video uploaded tomorrow because I have not posted in over a month. Okay, before my camera completely dies, I went into Costco also to check prices for TVs and they have really good prices on TVs. So I'm probably gonna get my television from Costco because my grandma and Melanie have their televisions from Costco and they're very similar. Um, also, I went to almost 10 stores today, so I've been really busy and I still have like 20 minutes left of this documentary. So I'm gonna finish watching that. And then I'm gonna just pack everything so that if I needed to move tomorrow, I could. But I'm, I'm obviously not. Like, I, I still have time until my lease is up. So, but I wanna be like as prepared as possible and kind of have just like the very bare minimum stuff out of place. Um, because Mel is moving out a lot sooner than me. I think she's moving out a week before I am. And I'm just like, well. I should kind of get my stuff together. Also, I'm keeping this like media console, which is really a dresser that we got from the alley when I was living in that duplex, which is where I started my YouTube channel from. Um, I It has like a coppery rose gold detail on it, like the color besides like the white. And I think we're gonna paint the coppery rose gold part, which also includes the handles and the top black. Um, Cause I think that will be nice and then i also have to repot my aloe vera because if i don't repot it today it's gonna die she's holding on by a thread but yeah i am not gonna talk your head off i'm gonna try to be better about being more concise to the point i've just been all over the place i mean with health with moving with new job it's been crazy it's it's been it's been wild but exciting nonetheless I feel like I'm just going to accept the fact that no matter what kind of drink I'm gonna get, it's always gonna be green. 
any drink. And it's like matcha. The mango kale is also green. Peach, pineapple, spinach is green. It's not a bad thing to have, I guess. Pretty much we have been packing our apartment because we have to be out of this place soon. It's a very odd way to pronounce, but okay. It's called jaywalking. <laughs> it is jaywalking. It's also ungodly hot. Like when we got in the car, it was 106 degrees and now it's 97. Um, and it's staying at 97, so I'm assuming that's the weather outside. It's disgusting. Honestly, we thought about going to like get gift cards from some restaurants, but we just didn't want to get out the car or wait in the car too long because it's truly just so hot. But yeah, I feel like we're done packing for the day. I'm just gonna clear out or organize my nightstand. We're probably just gonna watch a movie and chill the couch because our apartment is just boxes on boxes on boxes yeah it's not great it's insanity but truly the end of an era we're also just tired <laughs> we're also very tired and it's hot which doesn't make for a great combo but these smoothies are a really good idea Mm. I think I found my new favorite. Yes. Pineapple spinach. Anyways, we're gonna head back home and watch a movie or a documentary because we've been really into documentaries recently. Mm -hmm. Actually, I will say Melanie's been into documentaries and she's gotten me into documentaries. So, that is the fact of the matter, but I'll check in with y'all later, show you the progress that we've been making when we get home, so you can see the kind of chaos that we're living in, because it is truly, packing is just the worst. <laughs> it is not fun to like pack, but at least we're getting it done beforehand instead of at the last minute because I feel like if you do it at the last minute it would just be really stressful and I would get really frustrated and angry yeah and probably just like combust <laughs> and not do anything <laughs> and just like give up I feel like I would just give up if I had to do it last minute yeah so I like finish packing all my clothing and stuff so I can just like live out of my suitcases that way but Everything besides these little knickknacks are packed, essentially. But I'll show y'all when we get home. I'm tired. And I'm yeah. really hot. I'm really hot. <clears throat> I don't know. Alright, so this is the progress. Basically, brought down the, the table. You can see there. You know, keys and whatnot. <laughs> And then this just has like plants mainly and then a few knickknacks. I don't have like really good options for my wine glasses. So I'm going to like pack them carefully in my car and travel with them that way so that they don't break in a box. But I have some tissue paper, some like stuff for, you know, potting and, uh, adding like rocks and stuff to plants and then I mean that's some Mel stuff our kitchen is pretty much packed um yeah our living room we have our rugs out side airing out the new tenant is actually taking our um couch which is nice so we just have to get rid of the chair and then I'm gonna paint this like top and the handle is black, I think. Cause I'm keeping that. And then go into my room here. 
it's a little messy that's for sure i just have some stuff there and there but pretty much packed um have some my under bed storage everything that is out is gonna just go in my car because like my record players and my record player and my records can't really pack that i mean i have i'm just gonna like leave it as is and just put it in my car because that will be easier and then you know obviously another plant i need to organize this along with this area just needs to be organized like i have a lot of crap in my nightstand that just needs to be organized and then take a look at my closet have boxes on boxes on boxes and then that big suitcase is packed the two small ones are not and then these are you know already in boxes and stuff like that so it's essentially done and have to kind of organize the, the hangers and stuff but yeah it's essentially done i have nothing in this closet here it's like my linen closet fully empty now and then the bathroom which is a little chaotic but i have some bins i need to get another one like this from target um so i can basically put everything that's on here into a bin because it will fit um yeah i just have like skincare stuff and it mainly fits like everything that's here can fit in there um and then toothbrush toothpaste so just like my daily essentials but i have nothing in the cabinets below all of it's out um and packed away so everything that you kind of see here is it and then obviously towel laundry i have a few like that um and that art decor but other than that everything is packed so it's a little messy um a little bit disorganized in some areas but overall very organized i'm gonna finish my smoothie I'm going to watch a movie chill <laughs> in the living room i have some more stuff to kind of just organize just like the little things um which i feel like always takes the longest but we're getting there we're getting there um i'm hoping to kind of finish up every the last bits tonight and then go forth into the week very organized and feeling free and great vertigo is still affects me now it's crazy anyways i'll talk to y'all later Hello, uh, the air conditioning just turned on and I'm doing laundry, but I finally made the reservation for my U-Haul truck. I also was coordinating times to kind of move in and stuff like that. And apparently, you know, um, if you wanted to get movers to help you move, I would say do it more than a month in advance. Um, I didn't know like timing and stuff so I was trying to figure out times and I waited too long and everything is booked out till the next I think I wouldn't have been able to like get a reservation with a moving company for about six weeks so yeah that kind of uh, was a bummer so but you know alternate option I have a few people helping me move, which is exciting. And I rented a U-Haul truck because those are available, which is great and way more affordable than hiring a moving company. Um, so yeah, just, just a tip, you know, if you're thinking of moving, you want to do a moving company, try to get things planned out like a month, a month and a half, uh, in advance. Oh my gosh, I am feeling horrible today, honestly, and I'm moving out next weekend, and I'm just really hoping that I feel better. I'm going to have to, because I need to just, like, get, like, my body's going to have to just cooperate, because I have to move, like, I have no option. Um, my lease is ending, and I have to be out of here, 
by a certain date and I'm moving by a certain date you know what I mean so I don't have like time to just like dilly dally and I can't exactly explain my situation to my landlord and the new tenant because you know they also have their things going on but anyways anyways I have gotten a reservation with U-Haul I have a couple people helping me move uh we're 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 going on we're moving on quite literally we're moving on from this place to a different place so I'm really excited <sighs> man trying to like move and dealing with health stuff is hard it's hard um but I can't do anything about it because my body is doing what it's doing and I am trying to get answers so I'm I'm still you know going through it still struggling 